Hey everybody, welcome back to our Costco channel. Today I have something very special because it's not from Costco, but it's so interesting that I still want to show it to you guys. And it's this right here. It's basically instant hot pot. Instant hot pot. Let that sink in. Wow. So basically this, this whole thing right here has seasoning. It's got spicy beef and it's got like some preserved vegetables in here as well all you need to do is bring a bottle of water and within like 15 minutes this heats up on its own that's mind-blowing um so that's why i had to show it to you guys um so this is from Heidi lao beef self-heating hot pot spicy flavor asian people love spicy food so there are that's three me three different types there's a vegetarian type and non uh, spicy and spicy, I think. So I don't know if you caught that or not, but the wife says there's a non-spicy version and there's also a vegetarian version as well. We picked this up at our local H Mart. So hopefully if you're looking for it, go to your H Mart. And again, I apologize if you were expecting something from Costco, but this is just so interesting that I had to show it to you guys. Let me just open this up and look at the instructions. So there's like a easy rip this portion right there that's not very easy rip and wow no kidding detailed cooking instructions right there with illustrations thank you so what do we do take out the upper white container and add vermicelli pickled vegetable seasoned beef and hot pot seasoning in order in that order guys <laughs> Add drinking water to the maximum fill line of that white container. It's not white. And put it aside. Well, they say it's white. Inside is white. And then add cold water to the maximum fill line of the black container. Oh, okay. 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 Follow the instructions on the heating packet carefully. Remove the heating packet from the plastic bag. Place the heating packet inside the black container after confirm that the non-woven fabric is not damaged. Okay. So that... That packet is like the heating element. Mm. Okay, and then the white bowl is like the bowl. Okay. Carefully place the white container into the black container as soon as possible and fasten the lid. Do not touch the box. I get cut off here. Or block the vent on the lid when heating. There's a vent Set aside right. for 15 minutes before opening the lid. Be careful of the hot steam. Oh, All right, so let's not, take a look. It sounds dangerous. Should I bring a uh, cutting board or something so it doesn't burn our table? Yeah, yeah why you, don't you do that yeah. while I keep talking here? So basically, here's the lid and there's like a little vent right here. And if I open this up, oh wow. I mean, this is very sturdy, like plastic material. I don't remember how much we paid for this, uh, the wife will try to look it up, but we've had this sitting here for like over a month and I'm just getting to it. So individually packaged vermicelli and it has its own nutritional facts on the back of this. It's got individually packed pickled vegetables, like airtight container with its own nutritional information. Seasoned beef. Hello. Yes, please. Spicy hot pot seasoning right here. And here's that white container that we are talking about. So this is the dish that holds everything that's edible. And then right there is the heating pack. And we're going to open this, put it in here with water, put everything else in here, put this on top, close the lid for 15 minutes. So I'm going to be very careful with the heating pack, but here is that heating pack. And whoa, is that a spork or just a spoon? It's a spoon and chopstick. It's instant chopsticks and spoon. I'm going to reuse this. This is pretty cool. And that's it. That's everything right there. There is an expiration date clearly written right here. We're about a month after, but I'm going to try this anyways for you guys. I don't want to waste it. And I'm sure you guys want to see how this comes out. I'm sure it's okay. Everything yeah. is like, you know, airtight packaging and everything. We kept pushing it off and totally forgot about it. Yeah. If you can't go a month after the expiration date, what good is it? Right. So, all right, cool. All right. Let's, let's assemble this. 
Okay, so I'm going to be very careful and add everything in the exact order they mentioned, okay? First going in is the vermicelli. So where is the vermicelli? Right here, vermicelli. And it does have a easy rip little thing right here. And here we go. Vermicelli. That's it. <laughs> vermicelli. <laughs> Boom. Next, I'm gonna add pickled vegetables. This is really hefty. Wow. Airtight. Oh, damn. Look at that. It doesn't smell bad. Uh, lotus roots. Lotus roots. Uh, is that seaweed? Wood ear. Wood ear. Let me read it. Okay. What's next? Lotus roots. Uh, seasoned oh. beef and then the seasoning. Potatoes. Potatoes. Kelp. Okay, here's the seasoned beef next. And they have ingredients. Oh, look at that. It's oh. very seasoned. Ooh. Is it one piece? I don't know, but it smells good. <laughs> Yeah, get in there. It almost looks like dog food too. <laughs> oh my God, Queen, we love this. Let's get all that seasoning in there. All that fat. That's where all the flavor is. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Trying not to make a mess. Mmm. Smells great. Smells fantastic. And finally, the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is like wet seasoning. Oh, yes. Oh. Ooh. Be careful. Yes, look at that. Spicy. Spicy pepper. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be hot going in, I can tell. Look at all that pepper. <laughs> oh, yes. I want all of it. Have more noodles. It doesn't seem like as much. Oh, Johnny. It's getting all over the place. Okay, it's, it's okay. You got it. You got it. Drop. Spicy peppers. Yes, please. Okay, guys. So at this point, this is what we're looking at. Okay, I just want to get everything down there. So there's a fill line right over here. Right over here. There's a line. It doesn't say fill line. It's in eight. It's in Chinese or, or something. Chinese, yes. Yeah, in on all four sides here. I'm gonna assume that's the fill line. We basically fill water to that fill line. Don't use hot water. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we need another bottle, babe. There we are. I need another one of these. Why? Because I have to fill this with water. Well, too. this one you can use tap water, right? Sure. That's true. Then why don't you drink it? Don't waste it. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. Okay. The wife is going to drink the rest of that water. And now I'm going to add cold water to the maximum fill line of this. And then we're going to dump the heating packet into that water and put this in there. So let's see. Where's the line on this thing? Sorry. I make too much noise. I don't even see a fill line, babe. Oh, or is it out here? Yeah. I think I think that says fill line in some Asian language. Chinese. Is it Chinese? That's the fill line? Yes. Okay, fine. That's where we're gonna fill it to. Okay, let's move this over. I mean it's not it's not much water. That looks about right? Or... Uh, okay, good, good That looks about right. Okay. Okay. And now we're gonna open this heating pack. For use with self-heating food, do not eat, be away from fire, disable in confined space, be careful of scalding yourself, and prohibit hot water. Oh man, do I need gloves? Move my food, move my food. <laughs> Where do you want me to move it to? Move it, move it. Okay, wh what do I do? Uh, uh, this shelf life is 12 months. I mean, there's no direct... Tear the plastic packaging film of the heat pack 
put the heating pack into the outer box and add water to the water line. That's it. So I don't have to squeeze or anything. I just take oh, it out. So you're supposed to put that thing in first and then put the water because you kind of did it the other way. Well, yeah, because it says add cold water and then the heating packet. That's what it says here. Well, it's totally opposite on the other one. It's the opposite here. Exactly. This one clearly shows water and you're going to put the packet in the water. Okay. So there's no squeezing or anything. So let's go. You better not. Oh my god, I feel like I need goggles and stuff. You have glasses this way. Woo! Danger, danger! What happens when I put it in water? Oh crap! Oh. Uh, uh. Oh. What's it doing? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, how am I gonna get this in there? Oh my god, this sits right on top. Look at that, guys. Oh! Yes. Yes. Okay. It, we're safe. We're <laughs> safe. We're safe. We're good. All right. So 15 minutes from now. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. All right. So we'll be back in 15 minutes to show you what this looks like and to do a taste test and let you know if this is worth your time. Especially how it's not at Costco. <laughs> so we'll be back. Okay, guys, it's been maybe one minute since we put this in and there's steam coming out of it. Oh my God. Out of nowhere, there's steam. It's Ooh. hot steam. Be careful, you don't burn yourself. Oh, the water is hot already. I can feel it. That packet is, oh, it's really hot to the touch. Really hot. Oh my God. Oh, the, the spicy smell is all over my office right now. Wow, I can't believe how hot this is. You can't even touch it. It's that hot. Don't touch it. You're going to burn yourself. How does that happen? This Wow, mind-blowing. I want to go back to school and just, like, study this stuff. Something like this would be good for camping or picnics. Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. This is crazy. So the steam is gone. It steamed for like 30 seconds and the steam is gone. So what the hell does that mean? But I can hear it bubbling inside. Can you hear that? It's definitely boiling and steaming. I can hear it. I can hear it. Okay, so there's no other action. We'll be back probably in like another 13 minutes or so. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Thank you. <laughs> Did she stop? She's flashing. She's upset. Alexa, stop. Oh, she's giving me attitude. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are at 15 minutes. I don't hear any noises. I don't see any more steam. Like I showed you earlier, there was only like 60 seconds worth of steam, even if that. And this thing is still hot to the touch. It's hot. I definitely don't want to put my hand on it. Anyways, before we get into it, let me just show you. It comes with this soup spoon right here. Plastic, a little flimsy. It's really cute. It's cute. Oh my God, is this a toothpick? That is like the most Asian thing ever. <laughs> it is a toothpick. <laughs> and then we have these uh, chopsticks that are really short. Oh. Is there another piece to this? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Wow. Look how fancy this is, guys. And click it right there, okay? Click it. <laughs> click it. Oh, damn. Oh, there you there go. There you go. It comes on napkins. All right. Nice, fancy looking chopsticks, right? Yeah. These aren't washed yet, so I'm not going to use it, even though they came in a sealed package. I'm going to use my own chopsticks. I'm sure but it's fine. I'm going to use my own chopsticks right here. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm so excited. The wife is excited. Here we go. Oh, don't burn me. Oh, yes. It smells amazing down here. <gasps> Ooh, steamy. Look at that. Can you guys see the steam? There's oh, not, steam. Not oh my god, here. this is this is this is so like mala flavored. If you like mala, that that numbing sensation from the noodles, this is what you need right here. Okay, you can see the steam. 
Can from you see the, the steam? Side, from the side, yes. Yeah, this there's steam. I mean, this is hot. Let me just throw it around. Oh. So that beef was like one... one f so it wasn't cooked. It looks cooked now. It's like one... It's like a beef patty. It, it does break apart, though. Yeah, it just breaks apart. It looks like that. And then these... Kelp. Was, kelp? Kelp. Oh, I thought it was seaweed or something. Is that seaweed? Yeah, that is seaweed. What is that, a fancy word for seaweed? A type of seaweed. Okay, the <laughs> vermicelli is cooked you nice. Know this stuff. <laughs> the lotus roots. And the uh, uh, potato. Uh, and potato, yep, they, yeah. they combined it. So they, want to, they wanted you to think there's more lotus roots than anything. And... Is that bamboo shoots? No, I think that's part of the kelp or scallion or something. Kelp is the green stuff. <laughs> and here's the wood ear. I guess. Okay. okay. Give it a try. Give it a try. Uh oh. This is spicy, yeah. <laughs> really spicy. Yeah, this is like numbingly spicy. Mm. The beef tastes like it's jerky. It's like beef jerky. Yeah, go ahead, dig in. Let's try this broth right here. Oh, it looks really oily. I know. Am I like picking up oil? Look how oily my, my spoon is. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. It's so stained. I'm almost afraid to drink this. But I will for you guys. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, the peppercorn. Mm. <coughs> I want some water. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, it's very spicy. I, I can take spicy, guys. I, I, I promise you I can. It's just like this. this like, I don't know if you've ever had mala. This is mala, right, babe? Uh, yeah, I guess. It's like mala flavor yeah, mala, pepper, yeah. with, with peppercorn and... Yeah, I don't think you should drink... The... If you sniff this the wrong way, oh my god, or, or it goes down the wrong throat, you're going to be aching for quite some time. So let me try this without the broth, the noodles. It tastes like vermicelli noodles and mala sauce. That's that's really what it comes down to. I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna make a mess. You are gonna make a mess in my office. I'm gonna try this lotus root right here. Okay, there's crunch to it, and it tastes pretty fresh, even though we're one month after the expiration date. Mm. Oh my god, spicy! It's spicy, right? Mm. I don't know if I can drink that broth. No, I don't think you should. It's probably not good for you. <laughs> I mean, it's going to burn going in and probably burn twice as much coming out. <laughs> We're eating. Okay. But, like the wife said, this would be perfect for people who are camping, on the go, going to work or anywhere where you can't microwave or heat up a meal, but yet you still want a hot meal. Something that's comfort food, you know? Mm. Comforting. And spicy. Uh, I don't think I will buy mm. the spicy one again. Um, I guess it's more of a personal preference. Both John yeah. and I don't really like mala flavor to begin with. I mean, I don't mind it, but yeah, I don't like the mala. I'm not a big mala person, yeah. but if you are a mala person, this this is right down your alley because yeah. it's very mala flavory. Yeah, with the peppercorn, very the strong. aftertaste, and everything, it's all there. Like my tongue, I can feel the numbing right now. Yeah. But you know, if you want a hot meal on the go, this this is great. And like us, like we mentioned earlier, there's, this there's, comes in spicy and non-spicy, yeah, nice, non with and without the the beef. So we'll try the non-spicy one next time. We might find it again. Ten ninety nine for the vegetarian version, spicy and non-spicy, and twelve ninety nine for the version with beef, spicy yep. and non-spicy. Yep, I found that at H Mart. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I want another bite. <laughs> John doesn't like it. Yeah, I wouldn't buy this again. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm so glad we were able to show this to you. Uh, give us a thumbs up, you know, some encouragement to keep going at this stuff for our channel and for you guys. Again, this is not from Costco, but it was so unique that we thought the audience that we had would appreciate watching it. So let us know in the comments what you thought, if we should never do this again, or if you, if you do want to see more uh, non-Costco foods thrown in there. Thank you so much. We will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.